Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Arjawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 19 for the year 2022, appointing His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa as His Majesty's special representative in the tasks entrusted to him. His Majesty issued Royal Order 20 for the year 2022, appointing Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Abdullah Al Khalifa as the Supreme Judicial Council Vice Chair, Court of Cassation President with the rank of ex officio minister. His Majesty the King also issued Order 21 for the year 2022, appointing Abdullah bin Hassan Ahmed Al Bu'inain as President of the Constitutional Court for a five year term with the rank of minister. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a letter of gratitude from the advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. In the letter, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed deep thanks and gratitude for the Royal Trust, appointing him as advisor to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa expressed pride in participating in the Kingdom's development, whose foundations were laid by Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and supported by the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and currently led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Ali pledged to continue his dedicated work and efforts in serving Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the chairman of the Bahrain Airport Company, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, to mark the Bahrain International Airport being awarded the world's best new airport by Skytrax 2022 World Airport Awards at Passenger Terminal Expo held in Paris, France. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's wide-ranging achievements, which continue to be supported by Team Bahrain, in line with the goals and visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness extended his congratulations to the Chairman and the Board of Directors of Bahrain Airport Company, as well as to the airport's employees on their prestigious achievement. Back Chairman Kamal bin Ahmed expressed his pride in this significant achievement, which was accomplished thanks to the continued support of His Majesty the King for the development of the Kingdom's aviation and air transport sectors. The back chairman expressed his gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for his consistent support for the key strategic projects, including the new Bahrain International Airport, adding that His Royal Highness's support has contributed to the airport being recognized as the world's best new airport. And engineer Kamal also stated that the award is a testimony to the team's hard work in launching Bahrain International Airport's new passenger terminal in a record time, with no sacrifices in terms of quality and design, and it was completed despite the unprecedented challenges of a global pandemic. The chief executive officer of Skytrax, Edward Plasted, said that the last two years have been extremely difficult for airports worldwide, especially having to cope with the many restrictions of COVID-19 and the severe drop in travel demand. He added that the challenge to deliver the highest standards is being well met at Bahrain International Airport. I am pleased that uh, Bahrain International Airport has been recognized today by international organization uh, Skytrax, uh, one of the most uh, prestigious rating agency uh, in the airport industry uh, as, the best, as the world best new airport during the passenger terminal expo in Paris. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate His Majesty, the King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, the Prime Ministers, and the people of Bahrain. Uh, I think the collective effort that has been carried out by all agency, by Bahrain airport companies, by the civil aviation, by all other uh, parties involved in the airport, especially uh, our partner at Ministry of Interior, Custom Immigration, uh, not only to build the new airport, but also to work together to make sure that we have a smooth operation. Uh, and uh, within one year, only one year, the airport managed to get four recognition by uh, Skytrax. The president of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, chairman of the board of directors of the Real Estate Regulatory Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Slovak Deputy Prime Minister Stefan Holly and the accompanying delegation who are on a visit to the Kingdom. Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah welcomed the guest highlighting the visit and its importance in developing friendly bilateral relations in various fields, 
including real estate and survey. During the visit, the two sides discussed cooperation fields and the possibility of exchanging experiences and expertise in survey and land registration systems. The Slovak Deputy Prime Minister was briefed on Bahrain's latest survey and land registration practices. For his part, the Slovak Deputy Prime Minister hailed Bahrain's development and advanced use of survey and land registration systems. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abd al Latif bin Rashid Zayani, held a meeting in London with the British Minister of State for Asia and the Middle East at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Development and Commonwealth of the United Kingdom, Amanda Myling, within the framework of the 14th meeting of the Bahraini British Ministerial Working Group. Dr. Zayani stressed the importance of the meeting, which comes in the wake of the successful visit of His Majesty the King to the United Kingdom last month. He expressed Bahrain's welcome to the Kingdom's recent inclusion in the electronic visa system in the United Kingdom as an important means to facilitate travel between the two countries and to deepen the relations between individuals at all levels. For her part, Amanda Milling praised the development of bilateral relations and cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom in various fields, stressing the importance of working to expand the horizons of joint cooperation between the two countries. During the meeting, they discussed areas of joint cooperation between the two friendly countries and the ways to enhance them to serve common interests. The two sides also discussed the political and security developments in the region and a number of issues on the regional and international arenas. The two ministers then chaired the 14th meeting of the Bahraini British Ministerial Working Group, where they reviewed issues and topics on the agenda. They then signed the joint statement between the two sides in which they affirmed their common desire to support their bilateral cooperation in vital fields and to continue exchanging knowledge and experience. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Mrs. Amna bint Ahmed al rumehi confirmed that the social housing sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain receives great attention and care from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and comes at the forefront of the priorities of government programs headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness. Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The minister added that the royal directives, which was implemented to provide 40,000 housing units, will remain a shining point in the housing march that extended since the 60s of the last century. After the success in providing thousands of housing units to citizens in various governorates of the kingdom, through the housing cities and projects and residential complexes, as well as partnerships initiative. This came during a field tour by the Deputy Prime Minister of the Slovak Republic, Stefan Holly, and his accompanying delegation to Salman City, accompanied by the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning. In the presence of the Under Secretary of the Ministry, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, and the Assistant Under Secretary for Housing Projects, Engineer Rida Mohammed Al Adraj, as well as a number of officials on the occasion of the Slovak delegation's visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. During the visit, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning welcomed the head and members of the delegation, wishing them a pleasant stay in the Kingdom and reviewed the Kingdom's history in building housing cities, which represents a fundamental pillar in plans to provide housing services to citizens, starting with the projects of Isa Town, Hamad Town, Zayed Town, all the way up to the new housing cities that the Ministry has been implementing during the last decade, which includes Salman City, Khalifa City, East Head City, East Sitra City, in addition to Ar-Ramli suburb. During the visit, Minister Amna al confirmed the readiness of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to exchange experiences with the Slovak Republic in the field of social housing in light of the friendship between the two friendly countries. The visit of the Slovak delegation to Salman City included viewing the facilities of the visitor center that serves the city's residents, in addition to visiting a developed model of one of the housing units in the projects under construction, as well as reviewing some of the city's facilities. I very much appreciated this visit. Uh, I would like to, uh, to thank uh, your government uh, for the opportunity to visit this wonderful place. I have to say they made a wonderful job uh, and uh, I, I really appreciate this. You know. The houses uh, are in a, in a very good quality and uh, from European perspective they are of a tremendous size for, uh, for families. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Zayed Zayani, the opening ceremony of the new Kia showroom of Benhindi Motors Company was held in the morning in Al-Akr. 
President were the Korean Ambassador to Bahrain, His Excellency Chung Hai Kwan, and Vice Chairman and CEO of the Bin Hindi Group, Abdullah Ahmed Bin Hindi. On this occasion, the Minister expressed the Government of Bahrain's appreciation to the Bahraini private sector and its initiatives and role in promoting economic growth, as well as considering it a key partner in the development and progress of the national economy, and clarified that it is working in all ways to provide facilitations to ensure the best services for citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain. On the sideline of the opening ceremony, the all-new Sportage 2023 and SUV was launched in Bahrain as well as the launch of the family car Kia Karens, an addition to Kia Car Series. Bin Hindi is considered one of Bahrain's leading automotive companies that has come a long way since partnering with Kia Motors in 1989, becoming Kia's first dealer in the Middle East and Africa to adopt the new Kia identity with a new 18,000 square foot Kia Global Identity Showroom. The Member of Parliament, Abdullah Adosari, affirmed that the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King resulted in forming successful Bahraini role model, which was left a great impact on high-level achievements on the global as well as local scenes. Adosari referred to the strategies and extensive efforts made by the representative council based on the directives of the council speaker and Mrs. Fauzia bint Abdullah Zainu regarding the necessity of paying attention to the legislative structure that serves the youth and supports their aspirations. This came during Adosari's participation in the 8th Global Conference of Young Parliamentarians of the Interparliamentary Union entitled Young Representatives for Climate Action, which was held in Egypt during which Adosari reviewed part of the youth plans and programs in force in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also stressed the need to benefit from international experiences to combat climate change, which has become a global concern. Oman Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed issued a ministerial reshuffle that included three ministerial portfolios, namely energy, minerals, health and endowment. Sultan Haytham replaced the country's long-serving oil minister, Mohammed bin Hamad Al Rumhi, with Salim Al Aoufi, who was appointed to the post in a cabinet reshuffle announced on state television. Rumhi had been the oil minister for over two decades. Sultan Haytham also issued a decree establishing a higher justice council. The Sultan also decreed some provisions of the Municipal Council Law, specifying the functions of the Ministry of Interior and approving its organizational structure. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman, held a meeting with Malaysia's Defense Minister Hishamuddin bin Hussein. Discussions between the two officials focused on bilateral cooperation between the two countries, mainly on the ways to boost the defense capabilities. Senior Saudi and Malaysian civil and military officials attended the meeting. Saudi and U.S. officials discussed ways to better an existing economic partnership between the two countries. The Saudi delegation was led by the Minister of Commerce, Dr. Majid bin Abdullah Al Qasabi, alongside Princess Rima bint Bandar bin Sultan, Saudi ambassador to the U.S. They met with the U.S. Secretary of Commerce, Gina Raimondo, where they discussed the building a green economy, strengthening the role of women in business, developing small and medium enterprises, and promoting innovation. Al Qasabi held a meeting at Georgetown University to discuss cooperation opportunities and later met with the President of the Export Import Bank of the United States. A bomb blast at a mosque in northern Afghanistan killed at least one person and wounded seven others during Friday midday prayers. The explosion occurred in the northern province of Kunduz, in a district where dozens of worshippers have been killed in April in a similar bomb attack. No group has so far claimed responsibility for the attack. The Taliban's takeover from a U.S.-backed government last year has since seen a number of bombings in the country, but the Daesh armed group has